We've been eating lots of hot soup at our house on these cold winter days, and sometimes we enjoy a little bread with the soup, but I've discovered that there's something else that goes deliciously well with a hot bowl of soup, and that's a garlic and herb toast. But this toast is not made of bread. It's made of puff pastry, so it's just got that delicate crunch. It's flaky and it's delicious. Puff pastry is a pastry that you find in the freezer case in the grocery store. Comes in a box with two of these packages, or two pieces of dough, actually. And you just unfold it. You have to make sure that it's totally thawed out, but you still want it to be cold right out of the fridge. So I just leave it in the refrigerator overnight and it thaws out and it's ready to go. So before I start anything, I want to tell you that beforehand, I pureed some olive oil and fresh garlic together. I made a Parmesan mixture by processing or grinding Parmesan cheese with some walnuts. And then I've got some Italian seasoning ready to go. So the first thing I wanna do, you can see there's some like little fold marks on there and I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a roll with my rolling pin. Then I'm gonna take some of this olive oil and garlic mixture and generously brush it over the whole sheet of pastry dough. After the olive oil garlic mixture comes Italian seasoning and this is a no salt added Italian seasoning and that's pretty important. And on top of that comes the Parmesan and walnut mixture. Now you could roll this up to make pinwheels, just roll it up like a log, but when you really wanna share the love, you can actually turn them into heart shapes. First, take one end and fold it over halfway to the center. Do the same thing with the other end. Then go back and fold it another time so it meets the center and one more time and then just fold it in half. At this point, I'm going to put it into the freezer for about 10 minutes. When you slice that little formation that you made with the pastry dough, you will have these little shapes that look just like this. And I like to help them a little bit by just pinching the bottom of the heart so that when they bake, they look a little bit more heart-shaped. I'm going to brush the tops with a mixture of one egg and one tablespoon of water that I've whisked together. And you don't need to put a lot on, just enough to give them a little bit of a glaze. And once you've brushed them with that egg mixture, put them into the 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. They'll get nice and golden brown. And when you take them out, surprise, heart shapes. They're so cute. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.